Hi everybody. I just wanted to say thank you for allowing me to put the video guys about my YouTube channel that we doing. Um I made the presentation interactive so you guys could join me with some questions I have some I have some questions for you guys. But first I wanna tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Zachary Vasquez, and I'm 19 years old. The, the reason why I created this platform is because I wanted to make a fun site where everybody go to and just, just to have a great time. And I just wanted to share my story with the world. And I never thought that I would be presenting it to you guys today. So this is actually a dream come true for me. And um, I will first like to start with my first video of the day. So, so please enjoy the first video of today. Uh. <laughs> uh, can we get the video out? Do you want me Um, the word, the word, the picture of room. Um,
What was this? This was, um, the roof that, that. This was, um, a video of me doing a dance performance for a charity event to raise money to help organ to help an organization. I, I got ever heard of my class. Have you ever heard of my class? Have you ever heard of the Red Cross? Yes. Oh, Red Cross, yes. 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 So this, this event was to raise money to support people for the Red Cross. So this was a performance that was, was done uh, for the, the Red Cross, right? Oh, very One more time. The Red Cross Organization. The Red Cross Organization. Do you guys have any questions about the first video that you do? Okay. Do they have any questions about the show that I about this first video that I show? Does anybody have questions? No. The first video, okay. I have a question. Uh, I, I have a question. What is your question? Did you enjoy the dancing on the video? Yes, I enjoyed it. And it's pretty beautiful. That's great. It, it, it was a lot of practice, but I enjoyed it. When I was younger, I also took dance lessons, and I did great dancing in ballet class, in tap class, and in little Oh, wow, school. that's great. I'm telling you, I can't really hear you. Did you know that I also went to Little Gym and I took a lot of I do and I can't hear you that much. Stand up. Did you know that when I went to Little Gym, I also needed a lot of practice in like dance classes and tap class and voice class? Yes, everything you do, you must practice first. Day. What do you do? Yeah. Yes, that's what I did. And in the little gym, I, I didn't do great. But I practiced and I did great, like on the monkey bars, parachuting. Great job. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. No problem. <laughs> so, um, Zachary's journey has not just helped people in the in Jersey City, it helped people around the world. It, I have a different variety of things. On my, and I got special messages from people around the world saying how my channel has changed their lives and made their lives even better. So I'm grateful that. <laughs> I'm grateful that people, I can make people laugh and just have a good time. Because sure if I, this, in this world, there's a lot of hate in this world. And I just feel like it, so I wanted to create something that I could look back on and remember all the fun things that I did in my life. So that's why, uh, another reason why I created this platform. So, I'm gonna show you a, another video of me being on Pix 11 News back, back in 2017.
years. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about my disability. I have a disability called cerebral palsy. Um, it's difficult for me to use my four joints. That's why I'm not able to walk that much because I, I could move my legs a little bit but it's very difficult for me to actually move my legs and I had a lot of surgeries in my legs and 
my legs just got worse and they put, they put me in the they told, they told my parents that I would be never able to work. And sometimes it makes me sad to talk about my disability, but I, because sometimes I feel different. Like, like that guy was saying in the video, in the video he, he said, about the society doesn't care about them, doesn't work with them. That's, that's how I actually feel in this world because people in the outside world, they, they just don't accept me for who I am. They just accept me the fact that I am a worship. And sometimes when I look back on this video, it reminds me just to keep pushing. And that's why I showed you this video today. I have a question for you guys if you don't mind. What was, uh, the, what did you guys have to go through that was difficult for you? Anyone want to share? I'm trying to think of one. My mom passed away last year in August. Oh, my. That's just a severe pain. I think about it every day. Um, when I get home, I, I think about it and I just. I'm so excited for you all. Sorry to hear that, Phil. Yeah. Anybody else? Alright, this is Emma and Mr. Elizabeth. Which one? Sorry. It doesn't matter who I go first. Okay, and if you don't mind me asking, what, what do you do to cope with that problem? Um, uh, I don't know if I really, um, I just, I basically just try my best. And even though I, I get stressed out, I end up getting good grades. And I work hard. And I ask for help from teachers. You know what I used to tell people, and I'm going to tell you the same thing. Just put your disability aside because that doesn't matter. Just put your disability aside <laughs> and if, if you believe that you can do it, you will be able to do it. Because you know what I tell everybody? You can do anything you put your mind to. It doesn't matter if you have a disability or not, you can do anything you put your mind to. If you want to do computers, if you want to do anything, you can do anything you put your mind to. So thank you for sharing that. I know it's a difficult topic to talk about, but thank you for sharing that. I really appreciate it.
did you ever spoke out to the teachers and how they made you feel? Um, over, over the bridge, just keep on trying, you could, like I told, um, Emma, Emma, that you could do anything you put your mind to, it doesn't matter, if you have a focus and your body is, just don't care what other people think, because this is your life, only you can change it. This is your life, so it doesn't matter what other people say. It only matters what you say. So just focus on you. I know you're gonna do great, but focus on you and try be concentrated. Try have be concentrated. Thank you for sharing it. I don't know it was a difficult topic, but thank you. No problem, Jack. I hope it won't be difficult and hateful that it wasn't all right. <laughs> anybody else in here? Yeah. So, when I was young, I, I was at a daycare. Yeah, this is a difficult time. Um, okay. On that daycare, I got trapped in a chair, strapped down. Very what? traumatizing. What? What did they strip you down for? Uh, first thing I was doing, like, I had like a AED back then. Back oh. then. That was back then. Yeah, when I had that. They locked me in the chair for being a dangerous, but they should have let me watch a movie instead. That's what I think they should have done at that time. I still don't know why they strapped me in the yeah. chair. Yeah, it doesn't you, make sense. Are they allowed to physically restrain the child? In a daycare? Yeah. Um, they yeah, if I, got, uh, if I got a robot, I, 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 I would never I have. I have seen a daycare. I have saw that in daycare. Yeah, they had this chair like right this. And I tried to move back and forth, but they shut me down even more. I have one right here, here, here. It's a number of Very traumatizing. I'm um, very sorry that happened to you, but thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Yeah. Did you tell your parents? Yeah, I did, but they couldn't do anything. Couldn't do a mopping on that. Oh. Also, at that time, I couldn't talk. Because I didn't learn how to talk yet. I'm sorry to hear that, Brandon. Wait, then how do you tell your parents? Later on. When you get one. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, once they get to talk. Jack, do you have any? Can you hear that? I'm so sorry that happened to you, buddy. That's very tragic what happened to you. Yeah. I, I, I'm like... I'm one for wood. I am very one for wood because I'm shocked what happened to you, but I'm very sorry you had to go through that. Yeah. But the, you know what the important thing is? The important thing is you're still here today. Yeah. And this is the way anybody stop you, so I appreciate everybody sharing they're difficult stories. I know that wasn't easy for them, but thank you. Um, do we have time for one thing? Uh, there's a class under 25? 35. 35, yes. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Um. Uh.
It doesn't matter your circumstances, it doesn't matter your race or your disability. This world, this world, in my opinion, is very racist because this world looks at your certain race or if you can't do anything for them. I wanted change the world to make it better. And I feel like if I if I could do this to make other people happy, I'd rather do this to show people that I'm not gonna stop. If people tell me no, you think I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna keep on going. And I'm gonna keep on fighting until I get the answer that I'm looking, I'm looking for. So, <laughs> When, when I get older, I might be, become, I'm looking to become the new president of the United States so I can make a big change in this world. So, I will be, if I do become president, I'll be the first president to be in a worship. So, so that could go with my birthday.